Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, please like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell notification bell. My name is Kayla, welcome back to the Penguin Family. If you are new here, welcome to my Penguin Family. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification bell, comment down below, and leave a like on this video. I am doing my most, uh, it's not a requested video, but some people ask me what I use on a daily basis for my makeup that I do for my makeup routine. So if you wanna see everything that I use, that I recommend that you could probably buy still then keep on watching remember to share my videos we are at 203 subscribers I will be doing a giveaway I'm just looking to get a few items for the giveaway it's just money situation and that right now I haven't even been doing haul videos or anything so yeah there will be another part two of my reading my diary so yeah let's get started so first I want to start off with is a primer for your face that way your makeup stays and I use and this was Jeffree Star approved is the elf cosmetics poreless putty primer and it looks like this mine has a little but um, I use it a lot and this is how much I have left but I'm gonna probably have to get another one so that is primer and then what I use for my foundation is I, I've been using this since I was in high school and every single foundation that I use, whether it's drugstore or even like uh, high-end foundation, I find drugstore works better for my skin because I have very oily and sensitive skin and like sometimes my skin can flake off because of my oiliness. And so I use, I'm in shade 112 Natural Ivory, Maybelline New York Fit Me Matte and Poreless Normal to Oily Foundation. I use this and I also use another Maybelline foundation it's a 30 hour wear one and it's matte too and I also use the can't stop won't stop but this is my holy grail this is what I use on a daily basis the other thing that I use is for concealer is I use this Tarte shape tape it is full coverage and I am in the shade fair beige and it has a big applicator and it's just very full coverage. I use that. Now for my next thing is for setting powders, I use the Jeffree Star. You don't have to use Jeffree Star, but I also use Jeffree Star and another one, but some I can't get to the other one right now, is the Jeffree Star Translucent Setting Powder or the Fair one. I have two different ones because my friend gifted me a bunch of makeup like last year and these were in there. The next thing I will talk about is contour and bronzer. So the bronzer I use is Natural Bronze Waterproof Bronzing Powder by Rimmel London. This is the one that I use in sh uh, shade 021 Sunlight. And the contour that I also use if I do contour like this comes with a bunch of contours. It is the NYX NYX Highlight and Contour Palette professional it is a pro palette so this is what it looks like it comes with a contour it comes with a bunch of contour shades and like it goes from light to dark so if you have a very dark skin tone you can use this shade and I also they also consider this is a highlighter this is an all right highlighter I have to probably get another one but that's the highlighter it's really nice I used to use this highlighter like a lot and it comes with like setting powders almost like to set your face and this is the back this is like about 30 or 35 bucks they do have it at walmart which is way cheaper than at the actual nyx store i don't know if they have nyx stores anymore i know they sell it they sell this for almost like 40 dollars at shoppers where you can get it like for a few bucks cheaper from walmart personally for me i'd shop at walmart because they have nyx now depending on where you go for your makeup I personally like either Shoppers or Walmart, but if I can get the stuff at Walmart for cheaper because I have a discount card, why not? And the next thing is eyeshadow primer, like eye primer. I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer and it's a really good eye primer. It makes my eyeshadow stay on for a very long time. Now for brow products, you're gonna be like, why aren't you talking about brow products? I have blue hair and with my uh, hair, I match it to uh, use for 
I match it with my hair color, so I use eyeshadow. So for eyeshadow products, I use, these are the two most used palettes. I have the Jeffree Star, Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette, and this is the palette. I've been using it quite a lot. As you can tell, this shade, these shades and all that, a bunch of the shades. I use sometimes this blue, this blue, or whatever. And the next palette I use, don't come for me, is the James Charles X Morphe palette. I stick tacted my uh, shade list to here so I know what shades I'm using. And this is a well used palette, as you can tell, like it's well used. Like a lot of the shades are used, like the blues are used, some of the greens are used, the shades used, the shades used, the red is used, the black has been used, the pink has been used. This purple is my favorite, but it's hard to pick up or whatever. But yeah, this is my favorite palette. I know it's discontinued, but I have two backups for it. So yeah, that is another. So for highlighter I'm gonna do is I use Jeffree Star products. If you don't like Jeffree Star, you don't have to use him. Uh, I use his products because I like his products. It's not about like how shitty he is as a person, but I also use if I want light highlighter and don't want it like beaming, I sometimes use, I have these loose highlighters as like the actual big highlighters, but I use the, if I want to travel, the Platinum Ice Pro Palette, uh, Skin Frost Pro Palette by Jeffree Star. So this is what it looks like. So it comes with Ice Cold, Glacier, Lavender Snow, which I use Lavender Snow and Ice Cold a lot, but more Lavender Snow because I really like it. And then it has Alien Ice, pink chill and canary bling these are the shades and the next if i want a really beaming highlight i use this extreme frost in the shade choking on ice so this is the shade it's really pretty now for lashes for lash glue i use this duo lash glue which is black because i use a lot of eyeliner on the top so it blends in and I can easily do that. And the lashes that I use are either these Ardell Wispies or a Holy Grail is, uh, Jaclyn Hills mentioned it in some of her videos that she uses these too. And these are the Kiss Lashes. These are really, really good. I really love Kiss Lashes. This is a brand new pair. This is my old pair that I obviously cleaned. And I'm gonna be using this pair in the summer for when I do my trip up to Windsor area. And then for eyeliners, I use for like the eyeliner that I use down at the bottom is the Maybelline New York Lasting Drama Gel Eyeliner. And it, it is in blackest black. So this is the eyeliner. It comes in a little container. And you have all that eyeliner that you can use up for as many times as you need. The, it does expire within like obviously 12 months but like this lasts me for like so long that i don't even need a new one and the liquid eyeliners i use are deuce fierce and fine graphic pen this was from my friend and the other one i use which i got it in a little uh mystery bag from ipsy is the sex filter tart eyeliner and it has a little kitten at the top and for my mascara, I use Bad Gal Bang Benefits Mascara. This makes my eyelashes like super big. And like, even if I don't want my eyelashes super big, but this is the wand applicator. And it is a really good mascara. I've been using it for quite a few years. And for setting sprays, I do use the Morphe setting spray by uh, X Jeffree Star Collab, but that one I'm trying to save because there's not a lot. But really good setting sprays are Urban Decay, Urban Decay All Nighter and the Fix Plus MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus setting spray. Those are really good. I need to get a new one of the Fix Plus and probably All Nighter. And so for lip products, I use quite a bit of lip products. So for Jeffree Star, obviously I use a lot of his liquid lipsticks. So if I want to do like a nude, I use his Posh Spice one. And it is really nice. It's a really nice nude that I like to wear. Or if I want to go pink, a lot of times I do prom night. That's, this is the applicator if you want to look at it. It's a really good applicator. 
Then another one I use is NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in the, sh in the shade number nine Tea and Cookies. This one's really good. And they smell really nice too. So this is the shade I've had it for like a long time. I don't even know if you can get these liquid suedes anymore, but like I have a shit ton that I still need to use. And for another like just regular lipstick, I use the uh, L'Oreal Paris Collective Exclusive Julianne number 620 Julianne's Nudes. And this is the shade. I've used it since high school and it's almost gone. And it just... It smells amazing. I like the smell of lipsticks. Don't judge me. I don't know why I like cream lipsticks like this. This is really nice. And then for lip glosses, I use the Katy Perry CoverGirl lip glosses. Uh, this is the Kitty Cat Gloss. Uh, this is the one shade called uh, Pounce. And this is the shade called Candy Cat, and these are really cool. These are very similar to like Jeffree Star lipsticks. Like this one reminds me of Blow Pony, and this reminds me of Queen Supreme. And they're very pigmented too. And they they have a really, they have like a Play-Doh smell. I just noticed that, like they smell like Play-Doh, but they're really good. My mom showed me what these are, and I fell in love with them. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is brushes. So, La every single time I get a brush, sometimes it's in like the uh, eyeshadow palettes for Urban Decay. So I have those in there, but most of my eyeshadow brushes are all Morphe brushes. I have my ex Jeffree Star collab, my uh, Jaclyn Hill collab, the James Charles collab. This is the bucket that the James Charles brushes came in. Obviously you can tell it says X James Charles X. And I use Morphe brushes because they're affordable you can easily afford them and you can just go into the Morphe store. Obviously we don't have a Morphe store here in uh, London, Ontario, but there's one in Mississauga that I really want to go to one of these days. But they also have one in Detroit, but this is a really good, like, they're really good if you're starting off with makeup. They're just like really good and they're high quality and they also like, they last a long time too. And what I use for brush cleaner I use this brush cleaner by Sephora. It is Refresh Daily Clean and it's the Sephora brand. You can get this for $20 at Sephora. That's the brush cleaner that I use. But that's my daily, uh, what I use on a daily basis for my makeup if I were to do my makeup today. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, comment, subscribe, and to share my videos so we can hit more uh, penguins in the penguin family. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have a great night. Bye everyone. Thanks. Love you. Stay safe and stay positive. Bye.